Welcome to the Aquana User Dashboard. This video is split into two parts, a two and a half minute high level overview of the various features accessible through the Aquana User Dashboard, and a longer, more detailed review of each of the dashboard's elements and how to use and interpret them. Note that the dashboard view we'll walk through in this video is on a desktop. So when viewed on a mobile device, the dashboard elements and dropdowns could look a little different, although the same features are present in both. When you first log in, you'll see the main dashboard page. The water heater graphic shows an estimate of what percentage of your tank is heated to the tank set point, and below that is a measure of the tank top temperature, which is a proxy for the set point. Directly below that are the boost and away buttons. Boost enables you to temporarily override all control commands and allow the tank to heat to its nominal set point, and the away schedules a fixed period for the water heater to turn off. The right-hand box is the Info Center, which shows what operating mode your Aquana is in, as well as any scheduled control events. We'll note that Aquana's default operating mode is its learning algorithm, which we call Aquana Intelligence, or AI. This mode uses Aquana sensor data to discern hot water use patterns at your site and then autonomously control the tank heat cycling to match them. The goal of AI is to reduce inefficient heating of your tank. Upon installation, Aquana will typically gather at least two weeks of baseline data before AI kicks in. Now, scrolling down, you'll see Aquana's metering capabilities, where you can toggle between daily, weekly, and monthly views of your hot water usage as measured in both energy and volume. The blue line shows the moving energy usage for the time interval in question. And on the right, there is additional information on how your use patterns have changed over time. Below the usage metering is the performance selector, which allows you to select how aggressive a Qantas learning algorithm will be about controlling your water heater. At the bottom of the page is the link to our support ticketing system, which is the quickest way to get a response to your questions and support issues. A Qantas advanced features can be accessed by selecting the pertinent drop-down menu at the top. You can turn off the Aquanta intelligence learning algorithm to instead use Aquanta for manual, albeit virtual thermostat control, enable the time of use rate feature, and create recurring off-on schedules using the timer feature. In the My Profile and My Water Heater pages, you can change various information about and settings for your Aquanta. Now to do a more detailed review of Aquanta's features, so back to the main dashboard page. First note that the name you gave to your device during setup is listed at the top of the home screen. This is where you can add additional Aquantas to the same user account if needed. Below that, and as noted before, the hot water graphic it displays an approximation of the percentage of hot water available in your tank, as well as the tank top temperature. The info center on the right shows your Aquana's current operating mode and schedules, including noting in the status section if the unit has been offline for an extended period, in which case you'll also see a couple of dashes in the hot water available graphic instead of a percentage. To modify any of your control settings, you can click on the related Manage button in the Info Center. Let's now look at the Away and Boost features. Away allows you to program a quanta to turn off the water heater until sometime in the future. Select whether you'd like the Away period to start immediately or a date in the future by clicking on the calendar icon. Next click on the clock icon and you can scroll up or down to, a, to select a time that day then click on Confirm to enable that schedule, which will then show up in the Info Center as a reminder of the schedule you set. Note that you can cancel an away period by clicking on the button in the Info Center or the Cancel Away button. The Boost feature temporarily overrides all control commands and allows the tank to heat to its nominal set point. It is scheduled in a similar fashion to Away, although it allows you to select via a drop-down menu a preset boost period, such as one hour or three days. It's worth pointing out here that Aquanta cannot heat a tank to a temperature higher than the setting of its mechanical thermostat. Aquanta has built into its firmware both freeze and overheat protection, meaning that Aquanta will turn on regardless of Away or other control commands if the tank temperature reaches roughly 40 Fahrenheit or 5 centigrade and cut power to the tank if it senses the tank temperature rising above 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 centigrade, which overheating may be a sign of a failed thermostat on the tank. These features are stored and act locally and remain enabled so long as the Aquana unit is powered. 
Scroll down and you'll see Equana's hot water usage meeting. Usage can be shown in daily, weekly, or monthly views by clicking on the calendar icons below the bar chart. And you can look back into past periods by clicking on the arrows next to the date period shown. The blue dotted line graphs show the average usage for that day of the week over the last month while in daily view. You can denominate usage in either in energy or volume by clicking on the drop down menu where it says My Energy Use. Note that you can also toggle between units of measure in the My Profile page, which we'll review in a moment. Lastly, the box on the right calculates how usage patterns have changed over recent history. Below the usage metering, you'll see the performance selector, which is how users can manage how aggressively Aquana Intelligence controls your tank. AI uses several parameters as input to its control algorithm, including tank temperature, hot water use patterns, and hot water availability. Adjusting the performance selector loosens or tightens the ranges for those parameters in which AI operates as you choose more or less efficient modes. If your priority is saving money, for example, select most efficient. If you find you are periodically getting lukewarm showers, perhaps change to the efficient or less efficient setting. AI also learns and adapts to changing use patterns over time. Though we'll note that while AI, of course, isn't always going to be able to exactly match tank heating to your use patterns, it does have a bit of a fail-safe in the form of the hot water available feature. If Aquana senses that while in AI mode and for instance you decide to take a bath when you usually take a shower, the tank has dropped below a certain hot water available threshold, it will override the learning algorithm until the tank is heated back to that minimum threshold. Let's next look at Aquana's other advanced features. This time go to the gear icon on a desktop or full drop-down menu on mobile and click on advanced settings. The first such feature is turning off and on Aquana Intelligence, or AI, our autonomous learning algorithm. Disabling AI in turn enables the manual temperature control feature, which will heat the tank to the selected temperature. A couple of caveats to note in this feature. First, and as noted before, Aquana cannot heat a tank to a higher temperature than its nominal thermostat setting. Aquana controls tank heating by allowing or disallowing power to flow to the heating element or ignition control not by directly controlling a tank's thermostat. Second, Aquana measures a tank's temperature via an external sensor at or near the top of the tank, so when it is in manual temperature control mode, it will turn off the tank's heating element when it reaches the set temperature as measured at that tank location, meaning that the rest of the tank may or may not be heated to that temperature. This is opposed to a normal tank operation as the water heater's mechanical thermostat measures temperature at the bottom of the tank. Quanta's automated hot water available threshold does come into play here as it will activate once it drops below a certain threshold to ensure that more than just the top layer of the tank is heated. To return to the main user dashboard, click on the Aquanta logo. Another manual control feature is the timer function, which keeps the tank's heating elements off during the selected schedule, with the only caveat being the freeze protection feature. Select the on button for this feature, which will then walk you through the steps to create recurring on off schedules. Using the drop down menu at the top of the page, the Aquana timer can set up a weekly schedule with different schedules for weekends and weekdays, or you can set up individual schedules for each day of the week. Select the desired recurring daily interval and then follow the instructions on the page. The timer scheduler doesn't have overnight periods. So for instance, to create an off period from 9 a.m. to 6 a.m., you'd need to create separate periods of 9 p.m. to midnight and 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you want to set a different schedule for the weekends, you'd follow a similar procedure or simply select no off periods to leave it on all weekend. Remembering to click next, then confirm at the bottom of the page to select the schedules you've created. As before, click on the Aquata logo to return to the main dashboard page. The schedule you've created will then show up as a reminder in the Info Center on the main page. The last advanced feature to cover is the time of use rate function. If you have an electric water heater and an electric utility that has what are commonly known as time of use or peak pricing rates, this is a great feature to help you save money by allowing Aquanta to optimize the heat cycling of your tank according to those rate plans. 
Quanta has preloaded dozens of the most widely used TOU RAID plans. So to enable this feature, click on, and then in the next page, type the name of your utility in the Utility Name field to see if it is in our preloaded list. If it is, next go to the TOU RAID Name field and select your applicable RAID name. Then click Next. If either of those are not listed, you may contact a Quanta support so that we might add it for you. In the subsequent page, you'll see the rates, their schedules, and seasons. If these are correct, click Confirm. In TOU mode, Aquana will not fully turn off your water heater during peak pricing periods, but rather minimize heating during these periods to the extent possible without impacting customer comfort. You can modify various settings and contact information on the My Profile and My Water Heater settings, which you'll find in the drop-down menus at the top of the main dashboard page. The My Profile section is where you can toggle between temperature and energy units, set various dashboard and alerting preferences, disconnect your Nest or other interconnected devices, and change your account password as well as contact address. Note that this address should be that of the device owner, which may be different than that of the location of the device. You should emphasize that Aquanta only uses your personal information for customer service and product experience purposes and will never share or sell your information with third parties without your explicit consent. On the My Water Heater page, you can change the name given to your Quanta and the make and model information for your water heater. Note that it is important to have the correct tank volume input in the sections, as it affects how various Aquanta data outputs such as hot water availability are calculated. At the bottom of the page, you can change the device location information, which as noted before may be different than that of the address of the actual user. We hope you've enjoyed this review of the Aquanta User Dashboard, and please feel free to send questions, comments, and feedback to us via email at support at aquanta.io.